Section 1 Parts of Speech Words which are frequently used in speech or writing are called parts of speech. There are two kinds of speech, direct speech and indirect speech. They are classified into eight kinds on account of their functions, namely noun, adjective, pronoun, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, interjection. Noun, a word used to name a person, place, thing, an idea or a quality of mind is defined as a noun. Mother Teresa is a great social worker. India is a subcontinent. I enjoy watching cricket. Democracy, a form of government in which everyone has a share in the administration. Dictionary is useful for students. Pain and pleasure go hand in hand. Knowledge brings wisdom. Love and hatred are common to all human beings. In the first sentence, Mother Teresa is the name of a person. In the second, India is the name of place or country. In the third, cricket is the name of a game. In the fourth, Democracy is the name of a form of government. In the fifth, dictionary is the name of a thing or a book. In the sixth, pain and pleasure are the emotions. In the seventh, knowledge and wisdom are abstract ideas. In the eighth, love and hatred are qualities of mind. Adjective. A word used to describe or qualify nouns is known as an adjective. Telugu is a regional language. Padmaja is a beautiful girl. I read a historical novel. Sex is an earthly pleasure. We are entitled to fundamental rights. The color words are examples of adjectives. A word used in place of nouns is known as a pronoun. Padmaja is my girlfriend. She is very beautiful. I visited Delhi. This is the capital of India. Prasad is my friend. He is very kind. The colored words she, this, he are pronouns because they stand for persons or things. She stands for Padmaja. This stands for Delhi and he stands for Prasad. Verb. A word used to express action, condition or existence is known as a verb. I waited for Padmaja. She is healthy. There are spelling mistakes in his essay. The colored words waited, is and are are verbs. Because the word waited tells us about I. Did in the first sentence the word is expresses condition in the second sentence the word are expresses existence in the third sentence Adverb, a word used to modify a verb, an adjective or another adverb or a word used to explain how, where, when and why an action is performed is known as an adverb. Example, they lived happily. Padma is very beautiful. She speaks English quite well. The colored words happily very quiet are adverbs in the first sentence the word happily modifies the verb lived in the second the word very modifies the adjective beautiful in the third the word quiet modifies another adverb well preposition a word used to explain the relation between two grammatical words or a word used 
with a noun or a pronoun to show their relation with some other word in the sentence is known as a preposition i am fond of madhvi they boasted about their wealth she is angry with me i deposited my money in the bank conjunction a word used to combine two words or sentences is known as a conjunction i visited delhi and agra last week she will come today or tomorrow she tried hard but he failed in his attempt the colored words and or but are conjunctions because the word and joins the two words delhi and agra in the first sentence the word or joins the two words today and tomorrow in the second sentence the word but joins two sentences he tried hard and he failed in his attempt in the third sentence interjection a word which expresses sudden feeling is known as an interjection alas superb excellent well done well said splendid fantastic marvelous section 1 nouns Democracy is a form of government in which everyone has a share in the administration. Dictionary is useful for students. Pain and pleasure go hand in hand. Knowledge brings wisdom. Love and hatred are common to all human beings. Noun show possession by addings. Noun has can function in different roles within the same sentence. For example, a noun can be a subject direct object indirect object subject complement or object of a preposition words such as mother teresa india cricket democracy dictionary pain and pleasure knowledge wisdom love and hatred are known as nouns list of nouns p v narsimha rao bill clinton c v raman these are proper nouns kinds of nouns common noun is a name given in common to every person or thing of the same class or kind boy woman teacher doctor girl officer poet dramatist merchant traveler city village town region district place proper noun A proper noun is the name of some particular person or place and always begins with a capital letter Tagore Keats Mother Teresa Shelley Arke Narayan Rajiv Gandhi Bill Clinton India Japan America Delhi Collective noun a collective noun is the name of a collection of things or persons crowd mob team block herd army fleet jury family nation parliament committee poultry cattle gentry class
concrete noun is the name of a thing that can be touched or seen room sun girl boy abstract noun is the name of a quality action state of feeling freedom liberty thought joy sorrow love death goodness kindness childhood admission justice life truth and beauty material noun is the name of a material or substance out of which things are made gold silver iron wool air clay milk rice ice countable noun is the name of a thing that can be counted or divided into singular or plural singular nouns use this or that is the name of a thing that can be counted or divided into both singular and plural the definition of plural noun when nouns refer to more than one it is plural boys girls books plural nouns use these and those rules to convert singular noun to its plural form regular plurals most plurals are made by adding s or es to singular noun rule 1 plural of nouns is generally made by addition of s to a singular noun for example lamp lamps rule 2 nouns that end in s z x sh ch form the plural by adding es for example moss mosses dish dishes rule 3 nouns that end in y and preceded by consonant into a plural by changing y to i e s example city cities rule 4 nouns that end in y and preceded by a vowel form plural by addition of s for example boy boys rule 5 most nouns that end in o and proceed by a consonant are converted to their plurals by addition of es for example hero heroes grotto grottos es however some are exceptions may add only s like canto cantus rule 6 most nouns that end in o and are preceded by a vowel form plural by addition of s folio folios cameo cameos some nouns that end in f or fe are made plural by changing f or fe to ves example beef beefs wife wives exceptions are converted by addition of s like chief chiefs irregular plurals some nouns acquire different form in plural man men foot feet mouse mice woman woman tooth teeth louse lice child children ox oxen goose geese
noun gender gender indicates whether a person or an animal is male or female the word gender is originated from latin genus which means kind or sort kinds of gender in english language genders are of four kinds masculine gender feminine gender common gender neuter gender masculine gender a noun which denotes a male person or an animal is known as masculine gender boy brother father husband horse dog drone king god man monk nephew son stag uncle wizard author feminine gender a noun which denotes a female person or an animal is known as feminine gender girl sister mother wife mare bitch bees queen lady woman nun niece daughter hind and witch authoress common gender a noun which denotes both female and male person or an animal is known as common gender parents painter driver singer cousin child artist cook judge rider pupil thief servant relation enemy person neuter gender a noun which denotes either male nor female person or an animal is known as neuter gender book pen pencil table lamp house radio album photograph camera glass college school science poetry car rules for nouns always plural nouns the undernoted are always used in the plural number they always take plural verbs they cannot be used as singular nouns by removing arms riches calves caves scissors trousers pants clippers tongs billows annals archives ashes arrears athletics or species belongings breeches bowls braces binoculars billiards customs congratulations drugs earnings entails embers fetters fireworks lodgings lease mumps odds odd cards particulars proceeds proceedings regards remains savings shambles shares spectacles surroundings tightings troops thanks tactics vegetables valuables wages works innings i have sent my trousers to the laundry he has built a house on the outskirts of the city he has lost his valuables some nouns are always used in the singular number examples are poetry scenery machinery stationery crockery luggage baggage postage knowledge breakage jewelry information furniture money wastage i don't travel with heavy luggage the letter is short of postage if it is necessary to indicate the singular or the plural number of these nouns the method is for singular number we say a piece of an item of items of articles of kinds of etc these phrases are placed before these nouns but the noun is retained in the singular number i have a piece of information from you i don't like this article of stationery this item of your furniture is really beautiful all pieces of information given by him are wrong i want only a few articles of stationery all kinds of furniture are available here nouns plural in form but singular in use there are some nouns which are plural in form but singular in usage they always take singular verb they are news innings physics 
politics, mathematics, mechanics, ethics, economics, etc. No news is good news. Politics is the game of fortune hunters. Ethics makes the basis of good life. Noun singular in form but plural in use. There are some nouns which are singular in form but plural in meaning. They always take a plural verb. They are cattle, gentry, clergy, cavalry, infantry, nobility, peasantry, children, admiralty, etc. Family is used both in singular and plural number according to their meaning. The Indian peasantry are still backward. The gentry have already arrived. Note, since these nouns are always used only in plural by adding s or es, for example, the following sentence is wrong. Our poultries are healthy, the gentries have come. The following nouns remain the same in both singular and plural numbers and they can be used both as singular and plural. In the same form, they should not be made plural by adding s or es. They are swine, vermin, mankind, police, public, etc. People in the sense of group of persons is always used in the plural number. But when the word people is used in the sense of a nation, it can be used both as singular, a people, and plural as the peoples of India and Pakistan are on friendly terms. Nouns with a numerical adjective. Some nouns coming after a definite numerical adjective are always used in the singular number. They are pair, dozen, score, gross, stone, hundred, thousand, million, billion. Two pair of socks, not two pairs of socks. Ten million people, etc. But if the numeral adjective is indefinite, all the nouns given above will be used in the plural number. Dozen of pencils, thousands of workers, etc. Numerical adjective plus hyphen plus noun. If a compound word is formed by joining a definite numerical adjective and noun by a hyphen, the noun is so used will always be used in the singular number. He fell down from a 10 hyphen foot high wall, not 10 feet high wall, 10 foot high wall, a 5 hyphen judge bench, not 5 judges, wrong, a 5 judge bench will hear this case. Noun plus preposition plus the same noun repeated the same noun repeated with the noun and preposition if the same noun is repeated before and after a preposition the noun is used in the singular number each time in such cases the verb is also used in the singular number example he knocked from door to door for help he knocked from doors to doors for help is wrong article plus several adjectives plus noun if two or more than two adjectives are connected with and the article has been used only before the first adjective the noun used after them will be the plural number but if the article is used before each adjective the noun will be in the singular number there is no post office in the first and last lanes there is no mistake in the fourth and fifth page numerical adjective plus noun plus fraction if the numerical adjective and a fraction a half a quarter three quarters etc are to be used with a noun the structure of the sentence will be as follows he reached late by one hour and a quarter. 
the sentence he reached late by one and a quarter hours is wrong under this rule the correct structure is noun is used after the numerical adjective and the number of the noun is singular or plural according to the numerical adjective and the number of the noun is singular or plural according to the numerical adjective noun is singular with a and one and plural with two or three but after the noun the fraction a half and a quarter and three quarters etc should be used example i have two hours and a quarter at my disposable note if numeral adjective and a fraction are joined by and they are used in the sense of multiplication the noun is placed after them and the noun is always used in the plural number example my income has risen one and a half times adjectives used as plural nouns some adjectives preceded by the are used as plural nouns example the poor the rich the sick the downtrodden the meek etc example the rich are not always merciless nouns pronouns of common gender the following nouns are of common gender they can be used both as masculine and feminine thus they are of dual nature for example they are child baby friend student teacher lecture professor pupil artist author reader servant worker poet speaker writer typist engineer lawyer advocate client clerk conductor musician politician minister leader dealer secretary enemy parent relation cousin often neighbor person president monarch statesman public man chairman sportsman spokesman spokesperson chairperson example she is a good teacher she is a good lady teacher is wrong note some grammarians hold that nouns of common gender which have man joined with them should not be used with feminine gender such a use would appear odd for example she is a sportsman chairman spokesman public man statesman in such cases person person has come to be used in place of man for example chairperson spokesperson sports person public person statesman media person etc sometimes poetess and authoress are also used for feminine gender any latest grammar change will be given to you in any sections of this course a typical difficulty arises when a pronoun is to be used with a common gender should we use he should we use she in the singular number for example which of the following pronouns his or her is correct every teacher should do his duty every teacher should do her duty in such cases third person masculine gender his should be used example every teacher should do his duty no student should waste his time some scholars hold that genders connected with or his or her should be used every teacher should do his or her duty but this can be desirable in the legal language only in the normal routine case only the third person masculine he his him should be used nouns with one meaning in singular and another as plural some nouns have one meaning in the singular number and another and quite different meaning in the plural number for example air and airs there are two different meanings air is like weather and airs is like an arro arrogant attitude alphabetic alphabet of the letters the letters and alphabets is the language it can be language of english or sanskrit or greek color is a color different colors and colors me also means flag they also represent a country's flag or any other flag good good means a good person a pet good and goods generally are the luggage the the luggage the 
or one person carries or has wood is also represented as woods which mean a jungle extensive exercises have been given which will allow you to know where you stand see the answers work on the exercises every week you will get about 10 exercises answers are given be the teacher yourself keep working the more you exercise uh, with your mind the more better your english and mcqs in your competitive exams will be